The Deputy Governor, Dr. Olaide Adilami, said the only way government can reach out to everyone is by emplacing pro-people policies that will engender meaningful development. The Deputy Governor said Governor Aida Atiwa is a youth-friendly leader who is passionate about the young people and their future. He said the Governor is working on policies that will create an enabling environment for entrepreneurship and youth empowerment. The policy of this government I want to tell you that I'm going 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 to he said grading of rural roads in Owo, which started the previous week, is to ease movement of farm produce to the markets. The deputy governor made reference to the ongoing construction of 10.9 km Idonri Obajari Road, 15.5 km Odakoko Bod Langbodu Road, and the recently flagged off 11.9 km Molege Agumbiade Road, among many others. While assuring safety of lives and property on the farms, Adelami said government would clear farmlands which will be highly subsidized. <laughs> Prices will come down. The price will come down. Is it not for every one of us? Yes. 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 On the spot, chairman of APC in Owo, Samuel Balogun, promised that the party is ready to deliver 80,000 votes for the APC in the November 16 governorship election. As we've been moving along before, set a target that we are going to uh, make a turnover of 70,000 votes. But with the remaining PDP in our local government, the past, they come into APC. Nobody like they used to have 10,000 votes. Had they done that, they had 10,000 votes to 70,000. That's why I say we are going to make a turnover of 80,000 votes. He appealed to party members not to relent in their efforts in ensuring that Governor Lucky Aida wins the November 16 governorship election.